All right. <laughs> Look at it. Finally got it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, God, I'm already overwhelmed. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Sealed air. <laughs> Power cord. Cleaning accessories. Oh, oh my gosh. Gummy bears. Would it blow your mind if I was to tell you that I've never had a gummy bear in my life? Spool holder. Accessories. Prusa lubricant. <laughs> Appreciate it, but I, I don't think I need it for this. <laughs> Steel sheet. Congratulations on getting the brand new, original Prusa printer. Oh my God, what? Is this, is this glued? Jesus. You wanna see a magic trick? Check this out, you ready? 3D printing handbook, right? <laughs> Assembly manual. <laughs> Seriously, that's actually pretty smart to do it like that. Alrighty, Heidi. Oh, oh geez, there's a lot of steps to this, huh? I know it doesn't come like fully assembled, but I really kind of wish that it did. Like, what, what, what do I do with this? Yay! Hopefully there was nothing left in that. I, okay, Jesus. Power supply. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little overwhelmed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I know, I'm just gonna go. One eternity later. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's looking really good. It's not ready quite yet, but first I wanted to make sure that I set up my spool holder. Okay. You have to adjust the width based on the size of your spool, not the size of your stool. Speaking of, I decided to go with filament from printedsolid.com. This is their Jesse PLA line, which I've heard nothing but amazing things about. So I'm really excited to check this out. By the way, not sponsored. But if you're watching, feel free to, you know, send me a few more colors or, or don't, no, it's, it's fine. This right here is gunmetal gray. Then we have white and this is yellow bird, which I gotta say, I, I really like how it looks. I mean, it's super vibrant. In an ideal world, I would have an entire wool full of different spools. But for now, let's just start off with these three. Although I guess technically I'm just gonna use the sample prusament and uh, do one of those little boats. What do they call them? B Bodhi? Benji? Bert? I don't know. Moment of truth, let's flip the switch. Am I supposed to press something? Maybe this? Oh, son of a bitch. Why is it not on? Nothing's ever easy. Oh, sheesh. English. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I also don't know if I pushed this in far enough. I honestly don't know what I'm doing with my life. The wheel in the sky keeps on turning. Are we done yet? Oh my God, I'm so bored. What are you doing? Oh, oh God. Am I actually doing something? I can't pull this out anymore and I can't push it in anymore, but I didn't get any filament. So, God, I'm really stupid. I, I'll be back. Okay, that was kind of weird, but I got it working, so. Whew. Before I start my first print, I do want to quickly talk about the future of swashing. It's been a while since I've been consistent and that is going to change. Right now my focus is 3D printing content. With this, the resin printer, doing things like silicone molds, I think there's a lot of potential to have fun. But I will still do other content like DIY setups, so on and so forth. You can leave suggestions down below in the comments and who knows, maybe I'll do a video about whatever whatever it is you just said to do. I, I don't, I don't, I can't read your mind, but I will definitely read your comments. Also, I'm gonna start streaming every night on Twitch. That's right, I'm doing hot tub streams. Everyone's been asking to see my my nipples and it's, it's time. I'm just gonna free them and we're just gonna go with it because Twitch guidelines said I could. No, I'm not actually gonna do that, although, <laughs> I don't have a hot tub, but no. Every night, I think at like 7 p.m. or 6 p.m., just check the description, it's gonna say it there, I will do a stream. Whether it's me with my 3D printer printing something, or maybe it's me just chatting, or maybe I'm playing games with you guys. Who knows? I just think it could be a lot of fun. So I'm gonna try every single night to do a stream, even if it's just for one hour. So I would appreciate if you go click that link and follow me and uh, while you're doing that, go follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all that fun stuff. Anyways, with that covered, let's check out my first ever print. I've seen it in YouTube videos, they, they do that and then like the print. I, anyways, okay, I'm just gonna start printing now. All right, do your thing, girl. What is that? It's 
It's been two days since I set this printer up and I'm having a great time. The first thing I printed was this whistle. <whistles> Pretty functional. Then I printed the little boat, which its name is Benchy. I don't know why I thought it was Bodhi. Although <laughs> Bodhi kind of makes more sense. Then I printed this little frog, which, uh, pretty cool. At this point, I was confident enough to switch filaments. And uh, man, I, I had some fun with the first layer calibration. I, I didn't realize that had to change with each filament, but like, duh, it totally makes sense. So after a couple of failed attempts, I finally was able to print out the Prusa sign with my Jesse PLA. My first actual print was this storage box here that actually opens and closes and was all print in place that stores my SD cards and my mini SD cards. And I I said I wouldn't cry, but this one's special. Think about that. My first practical print. They grow up so fast. Then I printed Spaceship Earth from Epcot, and this is the planter version. They do have it with the lid. I didn't print that. I really wanted to do the entire thing, but I wasn't sure if I printed it like this, if it would need supports. And if it did, I thought it would mess up all the prisms and I just didn't want to deal with that. So I did the planter version upside down and yeah, looks pretty cool. Then I did my first mid print filament switch and man, it turned out really cool. I used a thing called Tinkercad, I believe, and I just turned my logo into an SVG, dropped it onto a rectangle, and bada bing, bada boom, got a nameplate. That's my journey so far. Although I did just finish a 20 hour print, I think, for my next video, and it's gonna be fun. So stay tuned for that. I gotta say though, I am really enjoying my Prusa Mini and I can't wait to print more things. So leave a suggestion down below for things you would like to see. Also tune in every night at 7 p.m. Eastern time on my Twitch to see what I'm doing. Maybe I'm gaming, maybe I'm 3D printing. You never know. Don't forget, I'm Matt Philly and you're not. Get out of my face, have a great day, and I'll catch you on the flippity flop. <laughs>